Hello, my name is Jeff Hajik, and I am the owner and founder of Volaction. This video is part of our series where we explain the terms of continuous improvement. In this presentation, I'll be talking about the seven basic tools of quality. The seven basic tools of quality, or seven QC tools, is a set of relatively simple data analysis tools used to support continuous improvement efforts, specifically as they relate to quality. These tools are fairly straightforward and that they don't require sophisticated statistics to use, though control charts do border on being too complex for the typical user to develop. The seven basic tools of quality are cause and effect diagram, or Ishikawa diagram, or fishbone diagram, control chart, Pareto chart, scatter diagram, histogram, check sheet, and flow chart. Note that there is some disagreement in the quality community between flowcharts and stratification for the last tool. We have included flowcharts for two reasons. First, it is more commonly used and understood than stratification. And second, stratification is frequently used in conjunction with other tools. This grouping of seven quality control tools is often credited to Dr. Ishikawa. While it is clear that he used these tools, it is not certain that he specifically packaged them together in this grouping. It seems more likely that lean historians put this bundle together after the fact. Regardless of the origin though, this set of tools provides a good starting point for continuous improvement training efforts. With this set of tools, there are few problems that cannot be adequately analyzed. I recommend that frontline leaders be well versed in these tools, enough so that they can train and mentor their teams. Production team members, in addition to support staff, should have a working knowledge of the seven basic tools of quality. Let's look at the seven basic tools of quality in more detail. The cause and effect diagram gives a graphical arrangement to the potential causes of a problem. The arrangement helps both with brainstorming and with understanding areas of opportunity. Control charts are fairly sophisticated run charts that add in limits of statistical variation. This helps teams separate normal random fluctuations built into a system from special causes that spike the output. A Pareto chart takes advantage of the 80-20 rule to visually show the categories with the largest impact on a problem. A scatter diagram shows the relationship between two factors. The visual nature of the chart makes patterns jump out. A histogram is a type of bar chart that shows data in equal buckets. This lets the user see the distribution of the data. Check sheets provide a way to collect and tally data. The individual collecting data simply makes a mark in the appropriate box as a data event is observed. Check sheets are commonly set up as a grid, allowing for two factors to be recorded at once. For example, the type of defect may be across the top and the workstation the problem is identified in might be on the vertical column. Check sheets are also commonly organized by time or date. A flowchart is a visual representation of the path an entity takes through a process. This entity could be a person, product, or information. If you want to learn more about these tools, I encourage you to visit Velaction.com or go to LeanDictionary.com, and that will bounce you right to our online guide. Many of our entries also have videos associated with them, either for free on YouTube or as part of our subscription service at video.velaction.com. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. I'm Jeff Hajek, the owner and founder of Velaction, wishing you the best on your lean journey.